Money cannot replace what God has given to you. You see, money cannot buy what God has freely given to you. If money could buy what we call anointing, the seven sons of Scavers, they would have succeeded to buy the power Paul and Peter had. Let me tell you something. No amount of money can give you another life. Money cannot replace what God has given to you. You see? Money cannot buy what God has freely given to you. If money could buy what we call anointing, the seven sons of Scavers, they would have succeeded to buy the power Paul and Peter had. When God gives what we cannot acquire in the society today, we must understand he's giving for a reason. He's giving for a purpose. Look at what happened in Genesis 42 in our morning devotion of today. It is clear. Joseph, he was able to interpret the dreams of the wine steward and the chief steward in charge of the baker because he was gifted with interpretation. And you see, when the king sent for all his magicians, the Bible says, and they came and all the men in his kingdom, they were unable to interpret the king's what? Dream. And there was a statement Joseph made to the wine steward and to the chief baker. He said, when you go and things are fine, don't forget me. We are here today with problems. We have gone to so many places. Our problems cannot be solved. Many of us sitting here, we have traveled overnight. Some of you traveled yesterday, you arrived today. Some of you traveled the day before yesterday, you arrived yesterday. What God is about to take away from you and what God is about to plant in your life don't forget this place when things are fine. What did I say? When things are fine, don't forget where your blessings came from. Even Jesus said, go and offer the sacrifice according to the law of Moses. He knew Thanksgiving was very important. Recognizing the source of your blessing counts a lot, has a part to play. You know, testimony can only be covered if you recognize where your blessing is coming from. But many today, what will take me there again? When you have that notion, that mentality, the Almighty God, He will not remove what the devil has planted upon your life. Today we're going to see why the Bible says all power belongs to God. And money cannot buy and money cannot save you. Forget about your riches. Forget about all what you have. Many who are gone, many who are no more today, they had more than you. Money could not save them. Can you pay God for one minute of oxygen? You can't. You can't. That's his.